What's happening? What's happening? So we're gonna be starting up Mr. Clean here this morning. Bitter cold. It's icy. It is very icy. We got some snow last night. Just a little dusting you can see on the truck there. Ooh, she's cold. This is the first time this thing hasn't fired on like the first crank. <laughs> What'd you say? I said holy Jimmy, but <laughs> what does that even? I don't even know what that means. I don't know what it means. Why either. I said that? Yeah, but well, I said it, so there it is. It looks so different on the camera. You're gonna have to look at it through the lens to look at the difference between. Yeah, it's yeah. It doesn't do it great justice. It's bright though. Looking wrap job. Huh? I'm gonna wrap the King Ranch up crazy. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? This is the first time we've ever like color change wrapped truck. We've like wrapped that you logo. Plasti that dipped one. a bunch of stuff. Dude, I plasti <laughs> dipped the crap out of some trucks, man. Not giveaway trucks, guys. Like this is back in the day, like way back when I first started. I plasti dipped my bumpers and mirrors yeah, and cool, stuff. Cool color. Yeah, that's neat. It's kind of like a chameleon. Changes color a little bit different shades of blue. Yeah, Pretty cool I mean, though. When you get in the sun, it does look a little bit different, you know, obviously. Heck yeah. And then those wheels are like, really nice. The giveaway for this is live too. Is it? It is. Cool. When they see this video, it's, I mean, it's up. I mean, that's good and bad. It's the good part is you obviously have a chance to get a cool truck. The bad part is nasty red's closer to being gone forever. Yeah, that's true. That's true. The nasty is getting closer and closer to being picked up by somebody, which by the time this video comes out, there might be a winner announced on Instagram or something. So make sure you're keeping your eyes peeled. It's pretty wild looking. Yeah, you should get one in rapid Dukes of Hazard theme. Yeah, that would actually that would be kind of cool. Probably get some people pretty mad, but <laughs> probably. But it but it would be totally worth it. It'd be awesome. Not your Georgia boys. Not your yeah no. That's what, nice. what is going on guys and welcome back to another video here on loud and proud so I've got Mr. Clean sitting right over here behind me and uh, I've got well actually it's in front of me behind you guys in front of me and I wanted to do a full recap video on everything done to this truck because I get a lot of questions throughout the giveaways and throughout you know my YouTube videos and they'll randomly just ask you know you know yeah what's the lighting setup what's the tire setup what's the mirror setup you know like what's done and they want to like ask individual questions which I do have information in the description below of all the links to the lights that we put on at the mirrors the intake setup the just everything that's done to it. Information in the description below, always under the giveaway truck so you have all the information you need right there. I wanted to make a video specifically on just listing everything that we did to the truck, which isn't a super lengthy list, but it's a decent list of stuff that we did in about two weeks of owning it, so that you guys can have a full recap video to watch and go back over to look at everything we did. So you guys, if you're wanting to do this to your truck, or at least similar things, or have an idea of what all we did, you can look back at this as a reference to see everything that was done in one video and not have to go back and watch pieces of every single video that we pieced everything together. Let's get into it. So of course this is a 1998 and a half 24 valve Cummins. We're gonna start at the back since we're here. The truck does have smoked LED tail lights, which I do have links in the description below. And the reason for the smoked, I wanted to have some black because I knew I was gonna make the truck blue. So I wanted to have, you know, some black accents with it that kind of tied into the black plastics on the bumpers because we were gonna leave some black on there, like the black trim on there, the black, you know, the windows and the back third brake light. I just wanted to tie in some more smoked accent, but I like the LED look to the truck. So that's the reason we went with those. And then we're going to get into the tire setup. The tires are 33 by 1450 Venom Power Terra Hunter XTs, and those are sitting on some 22 by 14 RBP Glocks. And they actually have like a smooth lip on them, which I don't think you can get anymore. It's a smooth lip wheel. And the reason we went with this tire setup, yes, it's crazy wide. It is. It is huge, but. I wanted it to be that way so it could protect the lip of that wheel a little bit better because if you look flush down the tire, you can't see the lip hanging out. The setup that was on it before was a 33 by 12 and a half and it was just so stretched that the center of the tread pattern started like right here and the whole sidewall, this portion, was just completely like almost horizontal, like trying to reach to create that bead and it was just really bad. It was super stretched. I personally didn't trust it 
and I was like, I'm going to just make this safe assumption. Somebody's not gonna wanna roll around on a super stretched setup like this, so I'm just gonna take it upon myself to make sure that it's safer, not only for the wheels, but for you to be able to hook a trailer to this if you really want to and you have a nice strong sidewall. Let's just be honest, the real reason it just looks a lot better too. So that's the tire setup. I don't think I have a link in the description below, but I did order the tires from Custom Offsets. So if you guys go to Custom Offsets and you wanna buy a set of these and you found the information about these tires on this video, please let them know that I sent you their way and that helps me out and it helps them out. So let them know that I sent you. Moving on down the side here, we're gonna go into the tow mirrors. This is a Boost Auto Parts tow mirror for the second gen Dodges and it fits any truck I believe from 1994 to 02. It's a very simple setup but the LED quality is so much better. The smoked lens, the whole mirror, they're heated and the motor and the wiring and everything in here is so much higher quality than the stuff that I had. The mirror setup that I used to have on this truck was very similar but just imagine it being like 10 times cheaper quality that's what it had on it it was it had like an amazon special 150 dollars setup of you know tow mirrors for second gens that have the lights in the corner like they worked actually take it back they didn't actually work entirely the motor on the passenger side only went up and out and you couldn't adjust it back down you had to get out push the lens back down to where you want it and then get in and try to adjust it but then if you go too far the motor to retract it just didn't work and so i was like yep yeah, these just suck. So Boost Auto Parts, they took care of us and they sent us out an actually high quality set of mirrors. And again, thank you so much for working with us on this truck. You guys are awesome. And they're not the only sponsors for this vehicle, but we're gonna get into the other sponsor for this in just a moment. We also are just rocking some simple two-piece smoked headlights in the front here. It's a very simple setup. We're rocking some Firehawk LED headlights in there. Those bulbs are wicked bright. I believe they're like 14, thousand lumens there's something absolutely absurd bright but they look really good we also put the smoked led amber cab lights on the top of this thing and the reason we went with the amber is i just i just wanted to do something a little bit different everybody does white lighting on everything anymore it seems like that's just so overdone so i thought let's do some amber let's do some amber with the tow mirrors and so i said let's do the amber on the tow mirrors with the smoked amber on the cab lights with the smoked as well and the smoked cab lights just really tie the look together very nicely. And of course we went with amber daytime lights because of course I wanted to tie it in with all the rest of the daylight lighting in the front end that was all amber. Pop the hood. So coming under the hood we've got our pusher three inch intake horn right here as well as a four inch cold air intake on this side. And it does dress up the engine bay very nicely. I like the added look there. And Pusher was our other sponsor for this project. Huge thanks to Pusher for supplying those parts. You guys are awesome. You guys are always a pleasure to work with and we hope to work with you guys on future projects. So thanks so much for continuing to work with us on this one. The last big thing we're going to get into on this truck is the wrap. And I already went into all the details on why we went with the wrap and all this other stuff. So I'm not going to bore you with all that. But the wrap color is called Satin ocean shimmer blue it's a 3m wrap it's a super high quality wrap which was actually done by the guys over at extreme automotive detailing here in fort wayne indiana their number and info is also down in the description below so if you're wanting to get a truck wrapped tinted extreme interior or exterior detailing paint correction stuff i mean they do all kinds of stuff so if you have anything like that they do all that stuff here in fort wayne indiana so if you guys need any of that stuff done definitely hit them up but that is pretty much a wrap on the truck haha <laughs> get it it's pretty much a wrap that's pretty much a that's pretty much a wrap that's funny in terms of everything that we had done to the truck other than that i mean you know what's funny is the interior lights match the blue color of the truck almost perfectly like if you look at that color then you go in once it focuses it's about the same exact color pretty funny i didn't actually plan that i just noticed that for the first time just now starts amazingly so yeah that is the uh that is the overview on our 1998 and a half 24 valve cummins and uh, if you guys like anything that you saw, I do have links in the description below for everything we have done to this truck 
And uh, for the wrap, I have you know their contact information down there. I have links to the headlights, the cab lights, the mirrors, the intake setup, all that stuff. Links are in the description below to get you in the right direction to find that stuff. And of course, do not forget that you have just 24 hours, I believe, 24 hours left to enter to win this truck and get 25X entries. Uh, the giveaway itself ends somewhere around the 23rd of February, I think, but 25X entries end in just about 24 hours. They end on January 18th, and then 25X is gone. It will not be back. So if you want to grab 25X entries, this is one of your last chances that I'm gonna be able to remind you to let you know about that before they end. If you like this truck and you like the overview and you like what we did with it, please let me know down in the comment section below. I really appreciate it. That way I can know if you guys like this type of direction with a project so that I do more like this. If you don't like the direction that we went, also let us know down in the comment section below. I am open to your guys' opinions and suggestions as long as they're not just being degrading. But if it's helpful and constructive criticism, I am totally for it. But if it's just to be a jerk, screw you. I don't need to hear it from you. I hear it from other people plenty. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for all the love and all the support. If you guys have not done so yet, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the content because we're not normally just doing recaps, but this is a truck that I thought deserved one so you guys could just have one video to have everything listed out that was done and that way you don't have to go through and piece it all together to try to figure out what all was done to it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for the support and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.